What if I told you there's a bridge that's not just a bridge, but also a tunnel and an island all rolled into one? That's exactly what the Ursund Bridge is. Spanning over 16 kilometers, this $4.5 billion megastructure has physically connected Denmark and Sweden since the year 2000. But this isn't just about two countries getting a shortcut across the water. It's about uniting two nations in more ways than one. In today's video, we're diving deep into how this engineering marvel was built, the challenges faced along the way, and how it transformed the relationship between these two neighboring countries. Building the Ursund Bridge was no easy task. First off, we're talking about a structure that's not just a bridge, it also has an underwater tunnel and an artificial island. The bridge itself stretches for 8 kilometers before diving underwater through a 4 kilometer tunnel. Between the two lies Pebberholm, an entirely man made island that plays a crucial role in this design. One of the first challenges engineers faced was navigating the seabed. The Ursund Strait, where the bridge was built, is notorious for strong currents and varying depths, which made laying the foundation tricky. On top of that, ensuring the bridge wouldn't obstruct shipping routes was a major concern. That's why half the crossing was built as a cable-stayed bridge, soaring 57 meters above the water to allow large ships to pass underneath. But why include a tunnel, you ask? The team couldn't make the entire span a bridge without blocking flight paths near Copenhagen's airport. The solution? Submerge part of the structure underwater. This is where the tunnel section of the project, called the Ursund Tunnel, comes into play. Engineers had to precast 20 massive concrete sections of the tunnel, each weighing 55,000 tons, and carefully place them on the seabed like an enormous underwater jigsaw puzzle. It was a delicate operation. One mistake and the entire tunnel could be compromised. Now, let's talk a little more about Pierbehome Island, the man-made marvel at the heart of the project. Constructed using materials dredged from the sea, Power Home serves as the vital transition point between the bridge and the tunnel. Not only does it solve structural challenges, but it has also evolved into an unexpected environmental asset. Without human interference, Beberholm has transformed into a thriving nature reserve, providing a habitat for rare plant species and birds. The island's dual purpose, supporting the structure and promoting biodiversity, makes it a brilliant example of engineering that respects nature. The Earthen Bridge wasn't just about steel and concrete, it was about uniting Denmark and Sweden in ways that were never possible before. Before its opening in the year 2000, the only way to travel between Copenhagen and Malmo was by ferry. That trip could take up to two hours depending on the weather. But with a bridge in place, that journey was slashed just 35 minutes by car or train. Suddenly, the idea of living in one city and working in another became realistic. Swedes found new job opportunities in Copenhagen, while Danes took advantage of the more affordable housing market in Malmo. The bridge turned two separate cities into one cohesive metropolitan area. But it wasn't just individuals who benefited, businesses thrived too. The improved connection boosted trade between the two countries, making it easier and more cost-effective to transport goods. The bridge became a vital artery, allowing both countries to expand their economies. Tourism also skyrocketed. Weekend trips between Denmark and Sweden became easy and the cultural exchange between the two companies deepened. People who might never have considered traveling across the border now had the option to do so with minimal hassle. The Ursund region quickly took shape, encompassing both Copenhagen and Malmo. With better accessibility, Malmo experienced rapid growth, drawing businesses and workers from Denmark. At the same time, Copenhagen saw an influx of Swedish residents commuting to work. The result? a thriving cross-border economy. The bridge blurred the lines between the two cities, fostering collaboration and creating new opportunities for innovation. Investors from around the world were drawn to the region, recognizing its potential as a hub for business and culture. The region also saw developments in infrastructure that further enhanced the collaboration between the two cities. With the bridge as the cornerstone, rail lines were expanded and roadways improved. 
the connection allowed for a more seamless flow of goods, people and ideas. The impact of this cross-border metropolitan area has been profound, not only improving the lives of those who travel daily, but also attracting new industries, especially in technology, science and education. The Ursund region is now considered one of the most dynamic regions in Europe, and much of that is thanks to this incredible bridge. What's particularly fascinating is that the Ursund bridge isn't just a link between two countries, it's a symbol of cooperation. Denmark and Sweden have long shared cultural and historical ties, but the bridge took their relationship to the next level. It reinforced the idea that borders don't have to be barriers, they can be opportunities for collaboration. This sense of unity has become a defining feature of the Ersund region, setting an example for other cross-border regions around the world. The environmental aspect of the project deserves some attention too. Perbeholm Island, originally intended as a construction necessity, has become a sanctuary for wildlife. With no human interference, the island's ecosystem has flourished. Birds, insects and plants that are rare elsewhere have found a new home here, turning Perbeholm into an accidental nature reserve. It's a refreshing reminder that even large-scale infrastructure projects can have positive environmental outcomes when thoughtfully designed. Another noteworthy aspect of the Ersund Bridge is its self-financing model. Unlike many large infrastructure projects that rely heavily on public funding, this bridge operates on a user-pay system. The tolls collected from vehicles and trains crossing the bridge are used to repay the loans that financed its construction. Over time, this approach ensures that the bridge will essentially pay for itself. It's a smart financial model that reduces the burden on taxpayers while keeping the bridge sustainable for future generations. From an engineering perspective, the Ersund Bridge is nothing short of extraordinary. Its design combines a cable-stayed bridge, a submerged tunnel, and an artificial island, all seamlessly integrated to create one continuous structure. The decision to build part of the crossing underwater was driven by practical concerns, but it also added to the complexity of the project. The tunnel alone required meticulous planning and precise execution, as any misalignment could have jeopardized the entire structure. Yet the engineers managed to pull it off, delivering a bridge-tunnel hybrid that stands as a testament to human ingenuity. The construction team faced challenges, such as extreme weather conditions and the pressure to complete the bridge on time and within budget. Denmark and Sweden had set ambitious goals for the project and there was little room for error. Engineers had to account for the freezing winters that could delay construction and the corrosive saltwater environment, which required the use of specialized materials to prevent rusting and degradation over time. These challenges made the successful completion of the Ersund Bridge all the more remarkable. As we look at the bridge today, it's hard to believe that such an ambitious project was once just an idea. The Ersund Bridge has not only changed the way people travel, it's changed the way they live. Copenhagen and Malmo have become more than just neighboring cities, they're now partners in building a shared future. The bridge has redefined the concept of borders, proving that infrastructure can play a key role in fostering unity and cooperation. Looking ahead, the Ersen Bridge has set the stage for future developments in the region. With the world becoming more interconnected, such projects may serve as models for other parts of Europe and beyond. It stands as a testament to the power of infrastructure, not just to build connections, but to build relationships, break down barriers, and create new opportunities for people and economies alike. The Ersund Bridge isn't just a practical solution for crossing the strait, it's a symbol of what can be achieved when countries work together. It stands as a reminder that with the right vision, even the most ambitious projects can become reality. Today, the bridge serves as a gateway between Denmark and Sweden, facilitating travel, trade and cultural exchange. It's a shining example of how infrastructure can bring people closer, both physically and emotionally. So the next time you find yourself crossing the Ersen Strait, take a moment to appreciate the bridge beneath you. It's more than just a stretch of concrete and steel, it's a lifeline between two countries, a marvel of modern engineering and a testament to the power of collaboration. Whether you're commuting for work, exploring a new city, or simply enjoying the view, 
The Ersen Bridge ensures that Denmark and Sweden are always within reach. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing stories from around the world. See you next time.